The only queer show is Angels in America. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. I know. degrees Fahrenheit. I can't tell you what that is in Celsius, but I'm, I've gotten my hair dyed a little bit darker, and now I'm going to Farm Boy, which makes me think of the Princess Bride. Um, but it is not the Princess Bride. It is merely a grocery store. So we're gonna buy some groceries. Oh my gosh, okay, so I'm back. I have many groceries. <laughs> um, so as you can see, my hair has been taken down from quite how bright it was to this is a little darker than what my natural hair color is it might not look very different to some it looks very red in this light but it's more of kind of a muted light brown my hair is like a dirty blonde light brown mushroom gray mousy blonde color i think that's what it used to be it used to be like sort of strawberry blondish um but it was just a little too bright for me coming into the winter season so we've toned her down a little bit um lovely walk i was kind of hoping to walk from the grocery store back to the hotel but the, my groceries were just simply far too heavy now of course that i have bought groceries all i want to do is go back out it's very cold for me today um i i do not have the winter wear that i normally would have um or the cold weather wear that i normally would have so i'm just sort of stacking many things on top of each other and making it work. Um, but it's really nice out. I personally love this weather. It's a bit gray, it's cold, it's windy. Um, and none of the stuff that I bought is warm. It's just kind of like, when I'm living in a hotel uh, while on tour, I'll be in an apartment next week in Toronto, but I'm in a hotel this week as most of us are. Sometimes I have like a small kitchen with me, but in order to save on space and knowing that I was gonna be in a that, that, that. Knowing that I was going to be in an apartment for five weeks in Toronto, I knew that I didn't need my little mini kitchen, so I sent it um, home with some friends that came to visit me in Hartford. And I will pick that stuff back up 
when we get back to the one weekers next year, um, we will be in sit downs for pretty much the almost the rest of this tour um, until about mid April, early April, something like that. So I won't really need that stuff um, for a little while because I'll have kitchens, which will be great. So that being said, most of my food stuff is like, you know, yogurt with fruit and easy to grab snacks, hummus, carrots. Uh, I think I have, I got some muesli and we've got tea. In the grocery store, they had a lot of apples, different types of apples that are grown specifically here in Canada that I've never heard of before. So I bought one of each plus a honey crisp. <laughs> just to taste them. Um, didn't get any peanut butter though, which I feel like was a mistake, but que sera, sera. But it's been a beautiful morning. I've been, I've been awake since nine, um, but now it feels like it's time to relax for a second, you know? <sighs> Midi yawn. Um, I signed up for the San Francisco Half Marathon. I think it's on February 4th or 5th um, next year and we will be there for Mean Girls, so I will have that weekend off, um, that Saturday and that Sunday, to do the race and then recover from the race. Never done a half marathon before. I don't know what took over me. I have a lot of friends who have either recently done marathons or are training for marathons, and I thought, man, I have always wanted to run a marathon, um, like to raise money and run and like just challenge myself in that way but I never really felt the gumption to do it and then something just took over me and I was like let's see if there are any marathons in LA and there weren't any that I could find that were close I think the LA marathon is in the summertime um and I was like well, what about San Francisco sure enough there's a half marathon they're doing a 5k a 10k and a half marathon and because I I'm an all or nothing kind of bitch I just said we're doing a half we're gonna go the highest one, which I think is a 13.5 mile run. I think the most that I've run in one sitting is maybe three miles. And when I say run, I mean like jog and then walk it off and jog and walk it off and run and walk it off and run and walk it off. And that is in about 90 days. Because we're halfway through October, so I have all of November, all of December, all of January. We have a little, maybe a hundred days total to get my act together. So some of these might just be me training for a half marathon because I like to do uh, things impulsively. And I've, I've bought in now and I'm, I'm not wasting that hundred dollars. So let's, let's see where that takes me. <laughs> For now, I'm gonna put these groceries away. I'm gonna lie down and then I will go do the rest of my day. Um, this looks exactly like the set of the 2004 revival of Assassins. That is the most specific oh, reference. I was gonna say, does. that is also the most you thing I've ever heard. <laughs> I got to hang out with Meredith. Welcome back. I'm sorry. I forgot most of my makeup brushes at the hotel. So thankfully I have a powder foundation. That's gonna have to work for today. Whoa. I'm at a little break in the show. Um, so I thought I would show you. Someone sent me this. I think their name is Lauren. Lauren from Stratford, Ontario sent me a huge box with 
gotten into these. All these like Canadian treats and a shirt and some very gay Canadian socks, which is amazing. Dill pickle chips, are you kidding? The famous ketchup chips, had some of these yesterday in the airport, of course, of course. You've gotta get the arrows if you haven't had an arrow chocolate. What are you doing? Love a coffee crisp. If you haven't had a coffee crisp, what are you doing? Now, I've not had a caramel milk yet, but I do love Cadbury. These are Smarties. I don't think I've ever had one of these. And I have, I've had a different type of Smartie before, but I don't think these are candy coated milk chocolate. I'm thinking of the sour ones. This is a crunchy. I've never had a crunchy. It's very pretty. Oh God. Very pretty yellow wrapper. I love this color. And then we all know a Mars bar. If you haven't had a deep fried Mars bar, you're not Scottish at all. <laughs> and you need it. You need to have a deep fried Mars bar. And then she also, this is from Bows of my final show, May 22nd, 2022, and she was at this performance. So Lauren, thank you so much. Um, this is a really special, special, special thing. So thank you for this. And yes, I will be writing back. I will be sending you what I can send you, which is a Mean Girls um, playbill and thank you for this thank you for these snacks I mean you were keeping me ah, you are keeping me very well fed at this theater and for that I thank you so Lauren from Stratford Ontario thank you so much and I'm going to eat I'm gonna eat this egg Am I supposed to have anything with dairy in it of course not am I going to yes <gasps> What are you? Oh my gosh. Wait, I have to learn how to. It's a little frog. I have to figure out how to. I have to figure out how to assemble him. Ah, there we go. Well done. Yeah. It's a little, it's a little frog. Focus. There you go. <laughs> I love him. Now we just have to name him. Wait, I love him. <laughs> This is really sweet. Thank you. He's gonna stay in my station. I'm gonna eat the rest of this. <gasps> because I'm an agent of chaos. <laughs> Thank you, Lauren. So generous. So completely out of the ballpark. Like, thank you so much. I truly am so grateful. I, I appreciate it. Oh, and she. This is a little smiley face with middle fingers. And then she also bought me a tiger's eye necklace. And tiger's eye is my stone. So thank you, Lauren. I'm wearing, I'm wearing our little silver Janus on stage today. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Because I'm not allowed to play anything that's happening in the show. They're in the middle of Pooh's house right now. So I'm doing a taste test. This is so silly. I literally am about to go sing so many things and I cannot believe I'm stuffing my face. Okay, I just tried these. Out of this world, completely bonkers. Never in my life. Wow, this is the coffee crisp. I think I've had this before in England. I mean, they're all just gonna be delicious, aren't they? Okay, I gotta be fast. I'm not gonna try the Mars bar because I know what that tastes like and I will save that for when I, I need a Mars bar. 
Okay, this is the crunchies. Crunchy? Sponge coffee. Oh, daddy. Mm. Good heavens. Okay, I've had an arrow. I know what arrow bars taste like. I don't know what these Smarties are. I've only ever had the little sour Smarties that come in like a little plastic case. Yum, like an M&M. &M. Delicious, delicious. Oh my God, I'm gonna have such a tummy ache during I'd rather be me. <laughs> Oh, caramel. What on earth? Okay. We will have to go back. This was delicious. One last before I had to go. No pickle chips. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yum. Okay. I have to go.